now i am going to work with the testimonial section you see that after the team here after the team member there is a testimonial section so here you see total three testimonials are given here so i am going to um change this section that means i am going to work with this section so how i can uh, change the information that are given here how i, how I can add the is uh, testimonial items here how i can show uh, or how i can hide this complete section i will show you so in order to implement this thing i am going to terminal and now i am going to create a migration file so php artisan make migration and then create who is table testimonial uh, items table here i will need two types of table um like the service item that i worked with that means about item service item like is section i am going to create the testimonial items table so now you will see that in the database migration file is created so in the migrations you will see in this case the testimonial items okay so i am going to open any of this any of the previous items that means the service items i am going to copy the data from there and i am going to paste it here in this section so you see here is heading here is habit uh, subheading here is status now i am going to create the table so php artisan migrate and you will now see the table is created so i am going to my database table section here business landing on refresh after refreshing the database you will see that the testimonial items come here heading subheading and status now i am going to add um, the item here manually that means the heading so what will be the heading testimonials will be the heading here like this and this is the subheading and by default it will be um, the status will be show so okay, uh, click on go now you see on data is inserted into this table now i am going to just uh, change this information here so how i can change the information so here i am going step by step so i am going to create a model here so php artisan make model and here i will write testimonial item this model so the model is created now i am going to create a controller you see into the controller user user uh, other controller so i am going to create user testimonial controller so here i can uh, create controller uh, writing the command php artisan make controller and then i will write uh, into the user it will be user testimonial controller so you will see the testimonial controller uh, comes here now i am going uh, to copy the information for example i am going to copy um, this one first uh, so here i am going to paste it it will be testimonial item so testimonial item testimonial item and here of uh, the two functions will be this so i am going to paste this here and now i am going to change it so it will be testimonial item here it will be also testimonial item so this one will be testimonial item so testimonial item so user dot here testimonial and this is testimonial item and here subheading heading and status will be updated in this way so here it will be testimonial information is updated successfully now i am going to open on um, the routes of web.php and here i am going to copy this to item and now here paste it and it will be user uh, testimonial controller so this one will be here is a testimonial controller and this one will be testimonial item and testimonial item update and here it will be also admin uh, testimonial section update and admin testimonial this one so now i am going to my uh, admin panel user layout here it will be sidebar and in the sidebar i am going to copy this section and paste it here it will be collapse of testimonial testimonial so this id will be unique this one so here it will be testimonial testimonial section and this is testimonial and section item and it will be uh, testimonial this route i am going to stop now 
Now let's check if it is working. And in the web.php, you see I uh, added user testimonial controller. So in the top, I will have to call user testimonial controller, right? So now it should work. So let's go to the admin panel, refresh, you see testimonial section comes. If I click on section items, uh, here it should come user.testimonial, but I do not have any view yet. So in the um, user here, I am going to create testimonial.blade.php. So I am going to copy from other place, uh, for example, the um, service.blade.php or about i am going to copy the about okay so here i am going to copy the data and in the testimonial i am going to paste it here is a photo so i copy that from there so what will be here uh, edit it will be testimonial items and it will be admin uh, testimonial update okay but here one thing I missed that is in the testimonial item heading subheading status but the problem is in the background here there is a photo. So I will have to add another one here that means I am going to the database migration and into the testimonial. Here I am going to create another field that is uh, photo. So here I am going to create photo photo fill is necessary so in the table i am going uh, to update it and that means after the subheading i am going to create here the photo fill nullable and here it will be varchar so like this it will be created you see photo field automatically comes here but it is uh, null now so i can um, call it anything test test dot uh, jpg or something like that i just call here now if i go to the desktop um, if i go to my uh, white laravel here into the public uploads uh, for the testimonial there is no photo here so i am going on uh, to do one thing that is from the html uh, you will see there are many photos that is uh, this is testimonial background photo right so here i am going to just copy anything that means into here public uploads i paste it here i call it uh, for example test so it is test.jpg that i insert here that is test.jpg now uh, here I am going to refresh nothing comes because I will have to update many other things admin testimonial update uh, so this is section section update actually so heading subheading but not about item it will be all testimonial item so testimonial item of heading subheading existing photo photo change there is no video ID so I am going to remove a status is okay um, now I am going to refresh you see that testimonial heading is subheading etc comes here now if i change the photo if it works or not i will show it i will check it but before going there i am going to the uh, controller that is testimonial update here you see subheading heading status here i will have to work with the photo so i am going to open user about controller okay so in the user about controller to the top i will have uh, to add any uh, another thing that is the photo section so I am going to copy it from here and here I am going to paste it that is the testimonial item mm, that means the food request of photo so here object photo this will be for example testimonial underscore and photo equal to this okay so it should work I am going to uh, change the photo now for example mm, which photo I can post here this photo for example update you see this is changed now let's check it uh, from the laravel public uploads here you see testimonial underscore something comes here so this is the current photo the previous also, uh, one is not here now i am going to change these things also this is hide refresh you see everything is changed hide and this data is changed so my task is to show all this into front end so how i can do that in the front controller in the top i am going to add the testimonial item so here it will be the model that is testimonial item model 
and here I am going to check the data uh, so I am going to copy any data from here so this one will be testimonial item so testimonial item and it will be also testimonial item data so testimonial item data so here I will have to add it that is um, the testimonial item data so this one I will have to check uh, I am going to the front home uh, front uh, front home layout that means home blade file and you see my in menu I have nothing about testimonial so I am going to the bottom of the team this is uh, here I call uh, if that testimonial item data status equal to show then only this complete section will be shown otherwise not and here in the top you see this is the subheading heading etc so I am going to copy data from other place and here I have this is the heading so it will be testimonial item data of heading and I am going to copy this and this will be the subheading so here it will be subheading and you see there is a background photo so here I will have to call the photo that means here I will call the dynamic data using the bread syntax that is uploads and this testimonial item data of photo will be here so like this data of photo so the photo will come in the background uh, here so refresh uh, you will see there is no data because here height if I go to show now update if I refresh you see it comes in the background you see this photo comes in the background okay so in the total testimonial section it is working and heading and subheading is one on I changed it so now I am going to change it to the original thing and here I am going to upload a photo from here like this photo is a nice subject now if I refresh you will see that that nice testimonial photo background comes here so this thing is now dynamic now the next thing is I will have to add the single testimonial items you will see that here is a single testimonial this one this one etc are the single testimonial items so here is a comment who um, wants to send you the testimonial that means the person name and another one is the designation so name designation and comment so total three things so I will have to create here a migration file PHP artisan make migration then create it is testimonials table okay so now I am going to there and that means here so this is the testimonial so from other place like uh, the team member items like this um, like this one I am going to copy the data from here and here I am going uh, to paste it so it will be name designation is uh, okay the third one will be comment so here I am going to write comment so name designation and comment these three uh, three items will be the testimonial items okay and another one you will see there is a star mark so it can be five star or four star or something like that so here I am going uh, to give here a star so a star can be one two three four five so here now uh, you can uh, give a selection so in a uh, you can use this but here it will be a star and a star can be one two uh, three four five you can if you want you can um, give here in this way that means it can be three and it can be four and it can be five or if you want you can also put here a simple form that is the integer and there can be a default on the default is for example 5 you can use this way uh, but uh, if you give here the integer for example like this what will happen if you want to give like this uh, in um, a star and now if you want to run the terminal uh, artisan artisan PHP artisan then migrate like this 
you will see the table is created so here refresh this one you will see testimonials table comes and in the structure you will see the enum is this so you see the default value is 5 and these are the actual um, main values but you see you must have to give here a separate um, this symbol okay so it it is uh, like the set of values so you must have to give here um, a single code otherwise it will automatically be applied here so this is one way you can give in this way or if you want you can do it in another way that means you can just uh, give the user the ability uh, to put the value here that means one or two or three like this let's check it how i can handle this i am now going uh, to do another thing that is in the user testimonial controller i added only the two things now i am going to open user service controller for example and all other functions i am going to copy from there and here i am going to paste all the functions so i will change uh, change now everything and here i will have to create a model by the name testimonial so psp artisan make model and this will be testimonial model so here i can use the model that is testimonial so this one and all other functions after this i will have to change for example this is testimonial wall testimonial wall okay so this is testimonial and this will be testimonials and in the view it will be testimonial wall so testimonial wall and here it will be testimonial ad and here the view will be also testimonial ad it will be testimonial store testimonial store and here it will be how what are the items uh, here this is name another one is designation and then there is comment and uh, there is a ester uh, if you uh, make it selection it is not needed uh, to make it compulsory and here it is testimonial and this is name so like this and then it will be designation comment and there will be ester and it will be the testimonial wall so testimonial wall with success that testimonial is added successfully and here it will be testimonial and this is from testimonial i will call the particular data and here it will be testimonial we will be testimonial edit and compact here testimonial will be sent to the view and here it will be testimonial update and these will be changed now that is i am going to remove this first one will be name then designation and then comment and here it will be testimonial request id here this will be name also and i am going to remove this it will be designation comment and there will be a star and this one will be testimonial wall and here it will be testimonial is updated successfully and here you will have to write the testimonial delete testimonial delete and it will be testimonial where like this so it will be testimonial is deleted successfully and in the web route uh, i am going to open and here like all other items for example i am going to copy the portfolio from here i am going to copy and here i am going to paste so all controller will be replaced by this that is user testimonial controller and here it will be not portfolio or the portfolio text i am going to change by testimonial okay so this is changed and in the top testimonial controller is okay now i am going to check uh, the sidebar there is a sidebar you know so in the user layouts there is a sidebar and here i am going to pass the route that is uh, admin testimonial wall so let's check it now from backend uh, if i go to now testimonial you will see a user testimonial all view not found that means i will have to create the views now so testimonial all dot blade dot php this is one 
and uh, now I am going to create another that is testimonial add dot blade dot PHP and another one will be here that is testimonial edit dot blade dot PHP now I am going to open testimonial wall uh, so here like other items for example the portfolio wall I am going to copy the data from here and paste it here into my testimonial wall it will be testimonials and here admin testimonial add uh, here will be name uh, and uh, name designation I am not going to put comment just name designation a star and action so name designation is turn in action and here it is okay and there is no photo so I am going to remove it so this is the testimonials testimonials and this is the singular format testimonial and this will be testimonial name all portfolio will be testimonial okay and after name there will be a designation and there will be a star so this is testimonial wall now testimonial add i am going to add the service i am going to copy the service add and in testimonial add i'm going to paste it add this will be testimonial now here uh, add testimonial and then it will be testimonial wall and here i will write testimonial store and here this will be the name testimonial name will be here um, then I'm going to do this after name there will be a designation okay so designation you see uh, github copilot write me code um, this is a star and another one is message not message it will be comment in my case so comment and this one will be comment and here the star will be a selection so it will be a select here will be a star and here class equal to form select and here i will have to write the options total one two three four five okay uh, so the value on that will be inserted into the database will be one like this so it is perfect no problem uh, now if you want you can make the five by default this one selected that is also okay uh, so you can make like this no issue so when it will be submitted it will work perfect should work perfectly and then edit so i am going to copy the service edit from here and in the testimonial i am going to paste it so this will be testimonial and here it will be admin testimonial wall and here it will be admin testimonial update testimonial update and all service like this will be testimonial like this testimonial id hidden field is okay now here instead of icon it will be a name and here it will be also name so i am going to remove all other items like before so it is the testimonial designation and then the next one will be testimonial star and last one will be the comment so like this so if the testimonial is equal to equal to one this will be selected so you see the github copilot write me the logic and you already understand the logic here that is very easy so which one will be selected the present one that is all already saved into the database for a particular testimonial item that one will be selected now i am going to refresh uh, you see testimonials this is the view uh, add testimonial so i am going to copy the testimonial from here for the first one as a comment like this and this one is the name of the person and then the designation is this if you want you can select two star three star i select three star for example submit you see this is added successfully without any issue so if i go to the testimonial table you see it is added without any issue so i am going to add another one for example this one 
so this is the comment and then this is the person name and another one is this one this is the designation so i give here five star submit you see it is added last one is this so i am going to add another one that is this one and this is the name so name is this and this is the uh, company and or designation i can give here one star submit you see it is added so right uh, so everything added here perfectly now i can uh, going i am going to check something so five star I, it, this is just for check not real i will edit it change it etc for example i am going to edit this testimonial now so let's check if edit is working or not here is four star so you see it is working that means the edit functionality is also working here right now i am going uh, to check the delete so if i click on delete yes it is deleted without any issue now in the front end i will have to show all this testimonial as dynamic value so i am going to close these things uh, here i am going to close the controller okay sidebar also this so this is the front controller in the front controller i am going to add the new item that is the testimonial so here testimonial this is the model and here i am going to get all the testimonial data so here i am going to call testimonials equal to this is testimonial so i get all the data and this testimonials i am going to show into the view i am going to pass it into the view so here i can use that that means here you see these are the testimonial single data uh, that means uh, is single testimonial code so here i am going to call for is testimonials as testimonial and here in for is and other static data i am going to remove from here this one and this one i am going to remove so here you see uh, this is the code four star or five star or something like that and this is the comment so i am going to work with the comment section first this is the testimonial comment and comment should be in this symbol like this uh, so let's check if it is working or not okay so comment and this is the name so here i am going to call the name that is testimonial and name and another one here it will be uh, that is testimonial designation so testimonial then designation and here i can make the total things dynamic okay so this is the single star marks code so here how can i do that you see this is uh, i equal to this that means uh, how many items will be shown here that is showing so from one to three star it is showing here so if there is one star one will be shown so like this you see this is three star this is five star and this is one star so in this way you can mark the star marks so this is very straightforward and very easy you see now if you want uh, yeah, you know you can make all the five stars so you will have to edit the data so from here make all five star uh, make all five star like this and now if you refresh you see that now all five star uh, for example this mass name comment it's a time going to change and test it now so here one two three one two three just for testing update now if i refresh you see one two three comes here here and also here so all the data are now dynamic i am going to remove it and back it to its previous stage that means like this update so i hope you have understood how to make the testimonial section fully dynamic